You do it all the way up the arm. I usually do it to about here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. All the way through. Go all the way up over the elbow. Yeah, that one goes right through his elbow. So you typically want at least an inch above um, where the... Mm -hmm. Where the split stops. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, I have been going to Tukwila, or like Southside, for 10 years. And last November, my dog had a UTI, and they gave me medication, and the doctor said I can get a refill of that medication when I need it. And so apparently he's called there a bunch, and they've denied him each time. I'm looking at the thing, and I'm, he's like, well... So he thinks that calling here, we're going to... Yeah, he's like, is there a doctor there that could... I'm like, uh, <laughs> like, that could... And then I read the notes, and it said... Um, that there could be possible stones, which makes sense because he's like, well, every time he pees a little bit of light pink, I give him the medication and then he's all better. Huh. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, you probably need to be seen by a, a doctor that apparently he needs a manager. So I'm going to call him back and just tell him no. Mm -hmm. You write down his stuff now. A little sloppy because he's talking really fast. That's fine. Do you want me to pull up his stuff? It doesn't matter. Should I go all the way back up? Yep, so usually okay. you go down once and then back up. Right. I'm not sure since we have the one layer on the... The only thing that people would say anything about is like the creases that you have in oh, here. Makes sense. We have a blind group. No. <laughs> oh, yes. For school, he does. <laughs> oh, we're doing practice for yes. things. Mm -hmm. I was really hoping to use the eye. My eyes? Yes, I have mm -hmm. a blood smear on the table. Mm -hmm. On the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, okay. it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I know. Is this your own dog? Yes. <laughs> Is your mom torturing you? A bit. How rude. She was going to give me a shooter shoe in there, but. Now she's putting something on my arm like it's broken. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Poor guy. She had low platelets on the CDC count. It was a bad stick. It was very hemolyzed and stuff. I really suck at reading blood. 
smears. <laughs> so Who was it for? Dog named Shiloh. She's not here, is she? She is here. And the owner's picking up in 20 minutes. Or in 10 minutes. He's on his way. I was going to say, I mean, the first thing that we should do is try to redraw and rerun the CBC with a good stick. Yeah. And then if that comes back funky, then look at the good draw um, blood smear. Okay. That's what I would do. Okay. Try to get to the draw. Yes. I love and then if it's still crappy, then we'll look at that blood smear. Okay. Something that's not, you know, hemolyzed from a crappy draw. Okay. Everybody needs you every day. It's crazy to me, you know, like I've been in the field for 11 years, 12 years, and it's so crazy to me when I have doctors that have gone to school for, you know, six years, constantly asking for like, what would I do in this situation? You know what I mean? Like, it's been like that pretty much the whole time I've been in the field. Yeah. And it's just so weird. That is pretty Like, you make so much more money than me, and you went to school for so much longer, right. but, like, you ask me, like, what would you do in this situation, Bethany? How interesting. It's a difficult to start at the top. I feel like I kind of started doing it from yep. the top down. Doesn't yeah, to start like... at the top, go down, and then work your way back up. Right. But before you start doing that. Yes, ma'am. So you want it to go this way because then as you're going, you can just roll it off. Instead of like stretching a bunch, a bunch of it out and then wrapping. Yeah. There is like a, when I first did it, the first video that I took, it was like um, the first layer that I put, I was like, oh, that's kind of rough. Yeah. The second way I did it, I was like, oh, that's the way to do it. Yeah. I did it like this. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Always a good point. You never have any boobos, so it's a strange tree. Oh, you might want to do those two before you. Do I do them on here? Like one layer of this and then do you the could. stirrups and then go up? You could. Okay. You could do it before you start the vet wrap. You could do it like first vet wrap in. Right. Um, it, just as long as it's not on like the final right. wrap. Awkward, isn't it? <laughs> You're being so good. It does. I know. I don't know why. How weird. It's almost like nylon-y feeling to me. Right? I don't know if you want to watch. <laughs> I feel like that's one of those things where I'm usually the only one that notices. Nope. Sensory process. It's harder to rip, too. 
Oh my gosh, it is kind of the worst to rip. It is. It's also for some reason the worst to wrap right now. <laughs> Try to stretch as I go. Just tend to tend not wrap them in this way. Hey guys, I'm getting Carly checked out for Dr. Dickerson, and we did add on for Shield Trio for him. Look at how gorgeous they are. Oh, 